Does it hurt? Oh, this? Only when I worry. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Neathog? I suspect we may have consequences. forward to if I don't have it you don't need it may it strike true At your service. Anything for Freya? What'll it be? Want something in particular? Right there, sweating bricks on Main Street, and y'all gonna go hit his tie right now? Dick. Oh. Oh. Squirrel. 
Ah, Master Kratos, my apologies. Madame Nethode's disappearance weighs heavily on my mind. She a friend of yours? Less a friend than another longtime tenant of the tree. She was here even before I arrived, and that was ages ago. To even think something could keep her away from her babies. Terrible, just terrible. certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No. That is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these norms. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. Go! We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Oh, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like that? From me, of course. Of course. <laughs> Brother, there's no way to the lake from there. Come. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Mm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy. Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants, Fay herself, had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet, who we would fight, all of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle with Seekrin. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. She's so loyal and wise. Clever. Oh. Mm hmm. Doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. Rold, we will finish later. All those norns aren't going to find themselves. <clears throat> Back to the wolves. <clears throat> You were asking about the thread we're tracking. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home is... hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like... being inside your own mind. 
But if we go in together, are we in each other's minds? Hold! What is that? The oarsmen. Uh, a monument to conquerors. Made some lovely warships, though. You won't believe it, Mimir. This crest belongs to Fjotrlund. Fjotrlund, you say? Now that's where Sigrun was from. So this outpost is what's left of Fjordland. Sigrun spoke of growing up with these people before she joined the Valkyries. Looks like there's a staircase on the other side. Watch yourself. <laughs> Oh, 
told me her kingdom housed a great treasury filled with the spoils of her family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Is that all she told you, Mimir? Did she say where? No, just that they kept it hidden.
There it is. The other staircase. Perhaps those runes over there can shed some light. What? No. She never mentioned. Is that a key? Hmm. Wonder what lock that key belongs to. No lock. It is broken. Not broken. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find his partner. <laughs> oh! An artifact from the River Empire. Never been myself, but I hear it's lovely. <laughs> now, where have we seen an artifact like that before? Tears Vault. Mimir, what did those runes say? Sigrun. She loved another. A king <laughs> named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. Oh, come, Mimir. You really didn't think you were her first love, did you? Aye. I suppose I did.
Come 
Oh! 
Have you encountered these gnomes? Not personally. Faye's right, they have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Freya, you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the gnomes last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Another raven free. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed righteous fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threads of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abuse their power. When I challenge them, they threaten to undo my existence. So I kill them and turn their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic. Nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. I can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. An abandoned camp. Whoever was here left long ago. What did you find? A list of provisions needed to prepare a meal. A recipe? Who left that way out here? Let's take a look at the ingredients. Perhaps the recipe will lead us to them. Do they match the ones in that recipe book you found? I imagine we might find one of those ingredients around here. <clears throat> ah, I knew I recognized those initials. The Ballad of Yari and Somar. I'm not familiar. An old tale, but a good one nonetheless. The carving marks their passage through this realm. We could always try and find the others, if you're curious.
it. I just hope the Norns are somewhere indoors. I'm warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Hope the Norns are somewhere indoors. I'm warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimblewinter. Thank you. Behind you. <laughs> 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 Incoming fire! Yes, the ominous broken grave. The hilt sword. Brother, I know that sword helped me. <clears throat> Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Now's no time to wander off, brother. Freya... Found something. Opnar. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. 
Is that a frozen lightning bolt? My fight with Thor ended there. That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of tear statue all over the lake. Another drogger hole, brother. You're on fire, Kratos. It will pass. <laughs> <laughs> Another drop of old brother. Another drop of old brother. Oh, 
Another drug of old blood. Another drug of old brother. <laughs> 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 Another drug of old brother. <laughs> Whoa! 
didn't we? Lenore, I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? That it tickled? Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame.
Kratos, a raider encampment. Shall we take care of them, brother? Suspect that's all of them. These were cold raiders. Infamous. Beating wolves. Atreus and I rescued ours from such an encampment. That was kind of you. The coal raiders have been a blight on this land. The way they've abused its creatures. Perhaps we should do something about them. Perhaps. Up to you, brother. If the Norns know the future, no doubt they'll expect us to show up a bit late. That must be Tyr's helmet from his statue. Kratos, tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. This is the area. Feel something in this direction. Feel what exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Kratos, I feel the Norns over here. Are you ready? Oh, no. Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Speeder, left flank!
Nothing. Another dead end. A trap! Back to the wolves, then. What is up here? I don't feel anything. It's not related to the Norns. Could be interesting enough in its own right. What's that outpost? <laughs> Our widow trace get to Asgard. I'm sorry, but you'd have to ask Odin. He's got control of every path. I know how highly you esteem our expertise on such things, so I'm sure that's disappointing. He's just been one step ahead of us. fit. Wear it with pride. And for the Valkyrie Queen? What do you need? You've been quite the archaeologist, haven't you?
Mamir, look. Another Fjotalund marking. Aye, this place must have been part of Sigrun's kingdom. First outpost preceding further expansion. Sad to see Sigrun's homeland in such a terrible state. You know, Mimir, if you want to take a tour of her kingdom, you might not like it. So, she loved another before me. There are worse things to discover about someone you love. Yes, there certainly are. Another sleep and troll, courtesy of the dwarves.
instrument from your homeland isn't it can you play yes will you no Over there. Well 
Maybe those runes can give us a bit of history about this place. That can't be. It is. Oh, my mirror. Look, the other half of the key. I knew those key pieces would fit. <laughs> Can't wait to see what lock it belongs to. Another crane. King Helgi massacred her family just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. Sigrun and her brother had issues over that. Ooh, a souvenir from foreign lands. Spent with each other. She never mentioned anything about this. Maybe she liked the way you saw her. to get rid of those things. The wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads.
Now, if we could get back to the story of Fiendthur, the stonemason's son. I was hoping to get Freya's version of what happened. Let this wait. Stay alert. Now, if we could get back to the story of Primthur, the stonemason's son, I was hoping to get Freya's version of what happened. Wait. That building. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye. Very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. What's your right? that's blocking the entrance. It looks exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. Brother, your fight with Thor must have scattered pieces of Tyr's statue all over the lake. Looks like the shield ended up lodged here. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. You can brute force it. Sigil arrows won't work on this. the shield maybe
Look, over there. Could be useful. Well done. Now we just need to open the gate. Perhaps sigil arrows may help us freeze the gears. Like you'll have to get through the gate faster.
Well done. Oh, sure. <laughs> My arrows can't go through walls, I'm afraid. <laughs> Together again. Mamir, does this look like an abandoned treasury tomb? Aye, it does. It's Seagram's family crypt. Looks like a vault door to me. Now that we have both halves to that key, we should see if it matches that lock. Dead on the throne. Huh. Kratos! Switching! Dead on the throne. Here sits Prince Dogger. I can't believe he's still here. Prince Dogger? That the corpse of Sigrun's brother? How'd he end up like that then? Freya, why won't you answer me? Are you certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Hmm. It seems Sigrun put a curse on her brother for killing the Mad King. No. Truly? She did not know the Mad King had murdered her family. But what she did was too late. She had cursed her brother. That is why she joined the Valkyries. To atone. You knew all about Sigrun's family, didn't you, Freya? It was not my story to tell. Funny. Learning all this only makes me love her more. She chose me despite my flaws, my regrets. Knowing she has some of her own makes me feel closer to her. 
I am glad to hear it. So, these are the Valing schematics, eh? You know of him? Aye. One of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. Now, if we could get back to the story of Fiendthur, the stonemason's son, I was hoping to get Freya's version of what happened. Set that aside for now. Come. This is the place. We need to work our way up. This way. There. Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the Norns making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. More of your friends. I didn't tell them to come out here. did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. <laughs> brother, this way seems like a way out, not a way in. I concur. The Norns are further up. Oh! <laughs> 
Okay, I feel something. It's stronger this time. Over here. I wonder if we shouldn't check back on the raven tree. Open up. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Kratos, Ghost of Sparta, Bane of Olympus, Destroyer of Fate, Cruel Striker, Bringer of War, Weapon of the Gods turned against his creators. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. He cannot change.
Are we in our own minds yet? He certainly seems real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts of your mind will be real too. Different. Like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. know it all and I cannot change? See? You forgot smartest man alive! Certainly clinks like genuine Hacksilver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell, look at that thing! The Alpha! Attack! <laughs> <laughs> Alpha! <laughs> 
Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. <gasps> There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? <gasps> terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling <clears throat> companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! <clears throat> official. My boy. I can feel everything. Balzer, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here. Wait! Balzer, come back! Talk to me! <laughs> Oh, you're doing, mother! I am so sick of your constant menace! 
Imagine them thinking I had any desire to be back on this itchy carcass. I'm quite serious, brother. Come and collect me. Mimi! Secret? Brother, hold off. Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did. I tried to stop him any way I could. Just you served Odin from the day you met it to the day he put you in that tree! You saw his favor! You wanted his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a death until you turned on you! I know, Secret. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man, a counselor for peace, an ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in his suffering? To Scotty? To Grover? Or to Tanya? No! You all took the side of the powerful men who used Brother, them. watch out! There's more of them! Even now, you see a fire in God in me, and you can't help but hate him and call him brother! It's who you always it is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! No! Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! Why wouldn't you see him the way he wants to be seen? I don't want <laughs> I am here! the test didn't feel much like succeeding i see the door has disappeared or it was never there they toy with us still what is that a kelpie don't see many of those in these parts she must be theirs will she take us to them i'll ask her nicely Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. 
Care to talk about whatever the Norns put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek. What all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but called, you called him, him the, the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son, son was born, born shut up! up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death. And he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard. And you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. Hmm.
Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If... The chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <laughs> I see something. <clears throat> Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Let us find a gateway, return home, consider our plans.
Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though... I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. Norns have any good news for you? No. Ah. Maybe buying something expensive will take your mind off it? Whatever you need. Always a joy to work on these. Their deaths will be painless. Ish. And now, Freya? Hope it's to your liking. Something in mind? Whatever you need, I'll create. What can I make for you? Anything for Freya? No need to thank me. Nothing appeals to you?
They still whine. Poor things. They can smell more danger. Uh, the wolves fear that which can no longer hurt them. The horrors of our past can be inextricable from the present. You have to understand that. Another gravestone. But this one's intact. 
Aye, and with a keyhole tailor-made for the help we found. Hold on. Prepare for battle. Thank you, the zealot. For the king! The Alpha! Go! 
Favor, brother. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Did these warriors run? some point, Mimir. You're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well.
Now, if we could get back to the story of Hrimthur, the stonemason's son. I was hoping to get Freya's version of what happened. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect Lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Old. The wolves are distracted. <laughs> Another coal raider camp. Kratos, we should do something about them.
I grow tired of your lack of empathy for your own wolves. It's Demos, isn't it, brother? Well, I should not have told you, Demos. You see yourself in these wolves, in their fear. Let us keep moving. Freya, can we return to your story of Fiendthur? You said if he built Asgard's wall in time, he was promised an audience with you. Yes. All that thought, I think I hear something sizable. Ah! 
There. Ah! I was Seagrin when you saw her last. She's still incorporeal, ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. <gasps> Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. Another coal raider can. We should do something about them and put your wolves at ease. Chieftain! <laughs> 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 
the one who captured the wolves before you freed them? I do not know. Hmm. Regardless, they should draw some comfort. scared. Not of the raiders. Do not... Do not be afraid. You are safe. Good. Good boys. Girls. Good girls. We'd left something behind. Well, if you change your mind...
Now tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, you'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. You mummy? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? Come hither. We must speak. What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Neethog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of lean worms will be a walk in the park. Well, any questions before you travel on? They're back. They're back! Simmer down, I see them. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artistes. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him.
Oh, I'm gonna miss you, little one. <laughs> Got it! I think. Enough. Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit the lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> mm. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. idea what he's on about, brother. I wish you'd come with us, dear. I know you mean well with that. But, to be honest, I don't like who I became on our last adventure. I can't be around the violence that follows him. That follows you both. I'm sorry. You ready to go? I'm only just realizing all the little routines I've had to adopt taking care of Dropnir. I'll miss melting rings down for crafting gold, but I suppose we have enough to see us through to Ragnarok. <laughs> Too soon? See you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You I heard him. Quit your fretting. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you. Shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the time. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with... Bloody gate. Most likely someone in need of a lair been making a fuckery of Probably on account of all that incursion that you got up to. But don't worry, you little dang dickhead. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for. On account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? 
This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel. Direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so powerful. Careful, boss. That looks flammable. Maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. Another oil spill. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Kratos! 
Andre, is that you? Yes. I need to talk to Kratos. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear. <sighs> it's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. <laughs> These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that car fixture. should work with ice as well. It's open. That was a bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. Oh, 
Ah, we've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? That worked, shall we? This opinion of yours, was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't, or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might be. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the place is protecting your child. <laughs> Oh! 
Atreus's mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. <laughs> I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. <laughs> There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the past This is she mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. Fire, Kratos! It will pass! Watch your right! 
Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. <laughs> When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Herjar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the forge. Falky! Uh, you sure did go to pains coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough when it's time to steal my kitchen. Long as you know that ain't the way to the forge. Why do I feel like this has your name on it? It is an ingredient from the recipe. How did they reach this realm? Oh, they were well versed in realm travel. You see, Yari was raised a Midgardian warrior. Meant to fight in the family's wars. Find a way. Die for glory. But he rejected it. He left. He followed his own path. I wouldn't be surprised if we found their mark in other realms as well. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but could we just come back to this one? Trust me.
Well, so much for following me. Fine. Let's see what you find. Hey, try sticking your hand in there. This. Oh! I will oh! hit it. Yes, oh! I did. Oh! Oh! Beat it up, sir. Beat it up, sir. This up too? I'll have you know that was plagiarized when we found it. Sure it was. <sighs> Better take out that nest or it'll be eyeball city out here. Got something for you! <laughs> To that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Okay, looks like that wheel up there. Okay. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? I'm 
coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get close. Now we're talking! Hang on, coming around! Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right! Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! He is dead! We gotta have them both stop at once. Hey, I got the crank covered. You do the other stuff. <laughs> ah, promising. Turn it. Copy that. There you go. Turn it again. I think they seen us. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam pot. Oh, that's brisk. Think 
I'll grab some for the lead. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. Get anywhere, you oh. Find you, watch out. You ain't gonna land a single hit. Just gonna embarrass yourself trying! <laughs> creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never have it. <laughs> Said I was too much. <laughs> but today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> why, bro, I've never <laughs> seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? <laughs> what? Shut up. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Ah, all fuck knuckles. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. <laughs> this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Oh. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. 
Back in those days, I get so caught up in trying to be the best that I work till I plum drop. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Oh. Desire only oh. grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn, and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. Ah! Go! We're good! Crank it! She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Verger almost forgot. Ma'am, 
It would be an honor if you might. Bless you for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! <laughs> the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no. I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not at all. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a squirrel. Look! We got volunteers! That's just done! Ain't your first time with the spear, I reckon! It is the first weapon a spot to learn! What the hell? Ain't this just like old times? I didn't just put it more forebodingly myself. <laughs>
Yep. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Word his call to mate. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on. Might have to get creative up ahead. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, lick my face! There's eyeball nests all over! Get your throwing arm in here! <laughs> Circumstances on the right quick. See? You're a dead! Any more guesses, belt boy? Oh, all right. Gets bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right.
Ah, that's blocked. Ready? For your next lesson, take note of that there watching my hoose. Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on. If you want to get out of here, listen up. Throw a spear into that thing right there. See? Dirty enough to climb on, swing on, whatever's you need. Yep. Look out below! Bit late for that. Got one last favor to ask of the both of you, and we can call a square. What happened down there in the forge with the lady? That's my story to tell, all right? Agreed. Well, for a period of time, perhaps. Mumia. Oh, very well. These ugly bugs. Maybe those grim will take him down. Uh, nope. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Who you think you are, huh? You don't even know what's gonna happen to you. <laughs> Brother, that gun's trying to pass on high! Wet crap! Did you get God? Ah. <laughs> These are green birds. Maybe those grim will take him down. Uh, nope. Fire in the hole! <laughs> Behind you, look out! 
Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it horking and borking. Brock, when you knew Faye... And I'll get those gates working for you! I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands? On your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever, kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now, 
is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. <gasps> Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Let's see what Brock made you. Yelpa. <laughs> Careful, brother! It's covered in bifrost! <laughs> 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 Weapon. A spear. One with the powers of Dropnir. Interesting. Well, come on. We can discuss it on the train. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We've crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you? Aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war. THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along.
Hmm. So this drop near Spear. You're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his. Nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. Another Bazaka gravestone. You know what to do, brother. After the field of Kalas. <laughs> <laughs>
Last in the field of Kallus. Triple Fold God! Off the field of Callus.
Wasting my breath over. His berserker champions, even less so. Trash. With a lot of them. Why wait until now to speak of them? Before, there was nothing to be done. But finding that help changed things.
Hey, big guy. 